Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for being here. And I don't know if it is raining in your neighborhood. Is it raining? Yes, it's raining. Mm -hmm. But kind of. Oh, a lot. Heavy rain. Okay, let's expect that we're going to have a good connectivity. Okay, so let's get started because it is uh, it is time to, to start. And while we begin with the class, the others will join us. Okay, so okay. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you. Okay, because we need to take advantage of the time, right? Remember that there is it is only one hour. So here we go. And today is our session number 14. And here we have the objective. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you to help me. Okay. Reading the objective for today's class. And here we go in English. The objective for today is. In this section, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Excellent. Thank you. Congrats. So in other words, you said that in this session today, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. So we're going to be com uh, comparing in a conversation the present perfect tense and the simple past. If you remember, yesterday we established the difference between the simple past and the present perfect, correct? Yes, and yes. we said yesterday that the simple past is an action, an activity that is finished, okay? It is over. It doesn't continue anymore. But in the present perfect, the action began in the past. It has a connection and maybe it is already taking place now, okay? And the topic is actually I have. That is the topic of the conversation. So I'm going to play it for you and we can have the listening practice and later we're going to practice it, okay? okay. So here we go. Okay, let me see here. And this is the one. You tell me if you listen to the audio of the conversation, okay? Okay. Hi, everyone. A conversation will be... Yes, Do you I listen? Hear. Yes? Okay, yes. great. Thank you. Be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. So do you have any question about this conversation? Um, uh -huh. No, for the moment, no. Okay. So everything is, is okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. One more time, I'm going to play it for you, okay? Later, we're going to practice. Here we go. Notice there, uh, here we have when Peter says, oh, how about Thai food? Thai food, have you ever had green curry? Okay, because in America, uh, our curry is yellow, right? But they are yellow. talking about a different, yeah, curry. Okay. It's what we call in Spanish curry. Okay, it is curry. Okay, here we go. Let's see once again. Let's listen. Hi, everyone. A conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm 
I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? Okay, would you repeat? I played, I stopped I'm it and you sing. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? Okay. No, only for a few minutes. No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Chosen. Okay. Chosen. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Yet, very well. I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's the no, I haven't. Is it good? Delicious. I've had it several times. It's delicious. I have several times. I've had it. I've had it several times. Okay. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Or how about that time? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Very well. Excellent. Great. And now here we go. I'm going, you're going to read Peter. Hello, Claudia. Welcome. And I'm going to read Mandy. Okay, let's begin. You read Peter and I'm going to read Mandy. Let's begin. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that how long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Now let's switch, okay? I begin. Okay. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't desire. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I have it several times. Or uh, how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate a lot of there, a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Excellent, very well. I want to notice this. I'm sorry I'm late. This is the correct expression. Many people say I'm sorry to be late. That is not correct, okay? I'm sorry okay. I'm late. I'm sorry to be late, teacher. No, that is not correct. Or when you arrive a little bit late at work, you don't say I'm sorry to be late. No, that is not correct. You have to say I'm sorry I'm late, okay? And then something else that I wanted to point it out, uh, out here. If you remember yesterday, we were working with the past participle of the verbs, right? With the participles. Yeah. And here we have been, eaten, okay? Eaten, eaten, uh -huh. not eating, no, eaten. Eaten, eaten because it is past participle. If you say eating is with ing, but this is eaten. Because it is past participle, okay? And then the other one, um, 
had because it is had, had, had. Okay, we studied yeah. that case yesterday. And uh, again, had, have you ever had a uh, green curry? ¿Alguna vez has probado green curry? Actually, I have. I lived. Remember that live is a regular verb. So in this case, I lived is in simple past. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot. Their ate is the simple past because we have eat, ate, eaten. Mm -hmm. And here we have eaten, right? Eaten, past participle, ate, simple past because the objective is to be contrasting, okay? Using in a, in, a, in the same conversation, the past participle with the present perfect tense and the simple past. And then here, the question, how long did you live there? This is a question in simple past, right? That is why the answer is in simple past. I lived there for two years, okay? So now you are going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. But for the people who recently joined as Adan and Claudia, I'm going to play it one more time so you can have the, the practice, okay? Let's see, and I'm going to, mm -hmm, because otherwise I'm going to play something different. Okay, welcome class. This is the conversation you're going to be practicing and we practice with Eliseo. For two years. I know what happened here and I even, okay, I asked to update it. Very sad. Okay, here we go. I don't know, maybe because of the rain, the internet, or I don't know. Hi, everyone. A here conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, I lived there for two years. Years, not years, years. So right now we're going to move to the breakout rooms and you're going to practice as a group that conversation, okay? So here, here I'm going to share it with you. Okay, this is the one. You have it in the platform, but I'm going to share it with you, okay? Via WhatsApp to ease your life. Okay, over here. So here we go. Okay, great. And now, because I only, I only have three, three students, you're, you're going to, to practice it over here, okay? Uh, first of all, maybe Eliseo and Claudia, but I'm going to share then the, the screen with you, okay? Because I have only three participants <laughs> on, on this class. Here we go. All right. Speaking time, okay? So, Miss Claudia, you read Mandy, and Eliseo, you read Peter, okay? Let's begin. No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't say it. Have you ever eaten Moroccan? 
Moroccan. Moroccan food. No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Oh, I love thy food. Have you ever had green curry? Actually, actually, I have I lived in Thailand as a teen teenager. Teenager, I had it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, very well, thank you. Now let's listen to Adan and Claudia. Adan, you read Peter and Claudia, you read Candy. Okay. I'm sorry, I like, have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant deal? I can't. I can't they have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't is it's good. It's delicious. I've I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have, I live in Thailand as a trainer. I had it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thank you so much. Now listen to the teacher. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Have you chosen? Chosen because it is past participle. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Moroccan food? It's delicious. Ah, no, I haven't. Is it good? Is it? Is it good? You join the two words. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Thai is the short for Thailand. Okay. Thai food, comida tailandesa. Thai food, have you ever had green curry? Actually, in realidad, in efecto, actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it, I ate it, I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? How long together? How long did you live there? Did you live there? I lived there. I lived there for two years. I lived there for two years. Okay. Now that we have had this practice, we move to. Um, the next activity, but before we move to the next activity, I have to ask Adan or Claudia if you have any question about this conversation, the structure, the tenses of the verbs, or the vocabulary. Any question? No questions. Okay, then let's continue. And here we go. Notice this, the grammar focus. I'm going to play it for you, the present perfect versus simple past. But I'm going to let the speaker explain to you the situation. And here we go. I'm going to play the video for you guys. Okay. And remember, if uh, there is 
Okay, we were here and now we move over here. Because there is in this lesson, you as participants will learn when to use the present perfect or the simple past. Notice and pay attention to the explanation, okay? Here we go. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, if you notice, this is what we were studying yesterday, right? I'm going to get back to my presentation and in order to reinforce what we did yesterday. This is the present perfect tense question. Have as modal auxiliary, you, the subject, ever is added in this case because yesterday we didn't use the word ever. If you remember, we were using yet, but today is have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Alguna vez has uh, comido um, com eh, comida marroquí? Yes, I have is the short. I ate it once in Paris. Comí una vez en París. I ate it, ate it together. I ate it once, una vez, once in Paris. No, I haven't. Negativa, corta. I've never eaten it. Nunca la he comido. Si se fijan acá, hay un punto. No, I haven't, period. I've never eaten it. ¿Por qué? Porque no, I haven't es una respuesta corta hasta ahí llega. I've never eaten it. Esta es otra oración después de este punto. ¿Por qué? Porque no pueden ir dos negaciones a la par en una oración en inglés. Eso es incorrecto, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, acá hay dos negaciones, pero dos oraciones diferentes. ¿Ok? Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. Y la respuesta completa con el pasado simple. I tried it several years ago. I haven't. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay. Para la respuesta larga con el pasado simple. Y nunca. No, I've never had it. Okay. If I say, for example, Adán, I have a question for you. Have you ever eaten? Uh, have you ever eaten German food? Have you ever eaten German food? German food. German no. food. No, I, I haven't. I haven't. If if been ever eaten. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. German food, comida alemana, comida alemana, okay? Claudia, have you ever eaten Italian food? Claudia, have you ever eaten Italian food? No, I haven't. No, no, I don't believe you. Italian, Italian food. I'm going to mute you. Okay, for example, pizza, Pasta, spaghetti, ravioli, yes? So, yes, yes, I have. I, I, well, probably last week or today, I don't know what you're eating. I, I have eaten it many times. La he comido muchas veces ahí. ¿Verdad? Como desde hace mucho tiempo ya no, I ate it once. No, porque no la he comido solo una vez. I had eaten it. La he comido varias veces. I have eaten it. Ya no, 
contestamos con pasado, ¿verdad? Sino que con el participio pasado, porque dice, he comido varias veces, and I'm going to show you how, how to build that sentence. And you say, if I ask you, for instance, okay, have you eaten, have you eaten, have you ever, have you ever, alguna vez, have you ever eaten Italian food? And then you answer to the teacher. Yes, I have. Short answer. Uy, it must be capital. Yes, I have. Short answer. Long answer. It can be after this one. Longer explanation. I have eaten it many times. La he comido muchas veces. ¿Verdad? Many times. I have eaten it many times. For example, pizza, spaghetti, macaroni. Um, what else? Pasta, mm, ravioli. What else? What did you say, Alan? Sorry. Lasagna. Oh, yes, great. So you see, do you notice the difference? Okay, here, because you are eating nowadays, uh, eating uh, many times, if you are invited, of you, if you want to go to an Italian restaurant here in El Salvador, you go and there's no problem, okay? So that is the idea. And now we continue with our platform. And here we go, because later on you're going to be practicing, okay? You're going to be building sentences and asking and answering also. Okay. So now the present perfect here is what we go, okay? And I think that you have gone over this exercise. Yes or no? This completion exercise. I'm sure yes. that you finished, yes? You did yes. it, right? Okay, correct, very well. So we move here to lesson 10. And here in this lesson, the use of for and since. If you remember in the previous video, uh, for many years or since and blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to listen to that explanation. For and since, or Desde, for many years, for a few days, for algunos días, since 2010, since and blah, blah. But let's listen to the presenter, to the speaker here. Okay, pay attention. And if you have any question, you ask me. Let's talk about for and since. And you have here specifically the uses. For plus a period of time for six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two months, for two hours, I have worked here for five years and so on. And in the present perfect with four, she has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week and so on. Here we go. Later, you're going to be speaking lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about four and since. Four plus period of time. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught. Okay, notice here that we have since, desde, since this morning, desde esta mañana. 
since last week, desde la semana pasada. Yes. And for is for a week, por una semana. But here is since plus a specific moment. Okay. And now here you have, she has lived here since 1980 with a specific time. Let's continue. Not at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, questions about this uh, word, since? Preguntas sobre esta estructura? No, clear? Okay, later you're going to be practicing. Let's continue then. That's it. Okay, very well. So now guys, you're going to move to the practice. Okay, and here we go. Okay, let's remember that we have four and six. And now I'm going to stop presenting because I'm going to share with you, class, the following. Okay, where is it? This. Look at this. The speaking time. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Because here, have you ever cut your hair? It means that if you have uh, cut your hair yourself, si usted solito se ha cortado el cabello, se lo ha cortado usted solito alguna vez? Yes, I've cut it, or no, I haven't cut it. Okay? In questions here, you have to practice. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Have you ever tried Korean food? ¿Has probado alguna vez la comida coreana? Have you uh, bought your dictionary today? Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Y acá, si se fijan, ya estamos incorporando ever and yet, que lo utilizamos ayer, ¿sí? Entonces, me imagino que ustedes ya vieron este, este video, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, and this is the, the knowledge check, but here and here and here. Yeah. And over here, this is in their things, I think. So uh, it asks you to ask and answer these questions. Okay. So I'm going to share this and you're going to be asking and answering according to the structures that we have been practicing. And I'm going to ask, Eliseo, please ask the first question to one of your classmates. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Have you ever tasted goat cheese? The answer, go, the question goes to Claudia or Adan? Okay, Adan. No, I haven't. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, tasted. No, I haven't tasted. I haven't tasted. Go cheese. Go cheese. Okay, thank you. In, um, now, Adan, you ask the second question to Claudia, please. Claudia, how do you ever try the Korean food? Oh, oh my god the answer is sí, no <laughs> no i haven't no i, no, haven't. I haven't okay and <laughs> full form no i have i have i know no i haven't tried a korean food or no i have never tried korean food yes and now, Claudia, you ask the next question to Eliseo. Have you brought? 
Hey, Eliseo, how you brought your dictionary today? Yes, I have brought my dictionary. Okay, now Eliseo, you ask the next question to Adam. Adam, have you read the, the latest Harry Potter book yet? No, I haven't uh, read the latest Harry Potter Okay, thank you. Now listen, remember, when we use have, este verbo se escribe igual en presente simple, pasado simple y pasado participio. Pero como acá estamos utilizando el presente perfecto, no decimos read, decimos read. Have you read? Okay. Have you read? Have you brought? Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried? Have you ever tasted? Lo que sucede es que tasted, tried, son verbos regulares. Es exactamente the same spelling and the same pronunciation for simple past and past participle. Okay. Yes. Y en este verbo, bring, brought, brought. Es el mismo pasado, a pesar de que es irregular, pero es el mismo pasado y el mismo participio. Pero entendemos que para, eh, para presente perfecto vamos a utilizar el participio pasado. Okay? Read, have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay, or yes, I, ha I have already read the latest Harry Potter book. Okay, ¿se recuerdan? Y negativo, no, I haven't read the latest uh, Harry Potter book yet. Cuando es negativo, utilizamos yet. Cuando es afirmativo, already, que va antes del verbo principal. ¿Sí? Eso es refuerzo del día de ayer. Okay, and now you're going to be asking and answering the following questions. Okay. okay, have you ever cooked turkey? You're going to um, answer with your real information. Have you ever cooked turkey? Has he ever drunk Cuban coffee? Have you ever arrived late to the airport? Have you ever finished your homework at midnight? Have you ever written a romantic, oh, a romantic letter? Not a romantic letter, no, a romantic letter. I'm going to fix it right now because it cannot be that way, okay? And I'm going to share it with you so you can have it. A uh, romantic letter. Have you ever written a romantic letter? Have you ever phoned the clients very early in the morning? I don't know if you have, but the people from the bank, many times they do it, right? Okay, so here. So we said, um, have you ever written a romantic letter? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Have you ever phoned the clients very early in the morning? Have you ever traveled to Europe? How long have you worked for the company? How long have you lived in your neighborhood? How long have you studied English? Okay, I need you to write the answers for these questions back with your real information, okay? And if you have any question, you tell me. Remember that travel is with two letter L's. Why? Because this is the British spelling. In American English, you're going to find it with one L, but there is no problem. Both are correct. That is why it is here, okay? So I need you to read the questions. Let's begin. Adan, would you read the 10 questions while the other partners write the answers? No, 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 no. You only read the questions. It is a, a reading practice, reading practice from one to ten. Okay. How do you ever cook food? 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 
turkey, turkey. Like if it is an egg, turkey, turkey. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Have you ever put it turkey? Has ever drank Cuban coffee? Cuban coffee, Cuban coffee. Cuban coffee. Has ever drank Cuban coffee? Have you ever arrived late to airport? Arrived, arrived late. Arrived late to airport. Uh -huh. Have you ever finished your one for at midnight? Have you ever write, write, written, uh, written, written a Roman player? Have you ever found phone it? It claims very early in the morning. You, have you ever traveled to Europe? Europe, Europe. Europe, Europe. How long have you worked for the company? How long have you lived in your neighborhood? How long uh, have you studied English? Okay, thank you. How long have you studied English? Thank you so much. Now let's listen to Eliseo. Please read the 10 questions. Have you ever cooked turkey? Has he ever drank Cuban coffee? Have you ever arrived late to the airport? Have you ever finished your homework at midnight? Have you ever written a romantic letter? Written. Writing. No, writing, no. Writing is a ing. Written. 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 Okay. Have you ever written a romantic newsletter? Have you ever found the client very early in the morning? Have you ever traveled to Europe? How long have you worked for the company? How long have you lived in your neighborhood? How long have you studied English? Okay, thank you so much. Now it is time for Miss Claudia Sarko. Okay, please read the 10 questions. Have you ever cooked for a Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. Turkey. Have you ever cooked Turkey? Has he ever drunk Cuban coffee? Cuban. Have you ever, has he ever drunk Cuban coffee? Have you ever arrived to the airport? Ah, right. Have you, <laughs> have you ever finished your homework at midnight? Have you ever written a romantic letter? Have you ever phoned the clients very early in the morning? Have you ever traveled to Europe? Europe. How long how long have you worked for the company? How long have you lived in your neighbor neighborhood? How long have you studied English? Very well, thank you, Miss. Only remember the, mm, the verbs cooked, drunk, arrived. Finished, written, phoned, traveled, worked, lived, studied. Now it is time to begin asking and answering the questions, okay? You're going to be asking one to one, but remember that you need to ask all the questions, okay? Let's get started. Eliseo. Ask the first question to one of your classmates. You decide the name of your partner and you say the question goes to? Hey, Claudia, uh, have you ever cooked turkey? Um, 
pavo. ¿Me has cocinado pavo? ¿Alguna vez? Have you ever cooked turkey, Claudia? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Or yes, I cooked it for last Christmas, maybe. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Eliseo, the next question goes to. Has he ever drunk Cuban coffee? Who is going to answer, Claudia or Adan? Adan. Adan. Okay. Has he ever drunk Cuban coffee? Yes. No, not is here. The subject is he. El sujeto es él. Has he ever drank Cuban coffee? Yes, he has yes, or no, yes, he, he has. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. He has. Okay, Good. yes. He, okay, very well. Excellent. Now, question number three. Claudia, ask question number three to Eliseo or Adan. You choose your partner. Have you ever relate to the airport, Eliseo? Eliseo, question three is for you. Excuse me? Your answer, Eliseo, repeat your answer. No, I haven't. Okay, thank you. Now, Claudia, the next question to Adan. Question four. Have you, have you ever finished your homework at midnight? Alan? No, uh, I haven't uh, ever finished. My homework? My at homework midnight. At night. At midnight. Midnight. At midnight. Okay, very well. Now, Adan. You ask question number five to one of your classmates. Okay, Eliseo, uh, have you ever uh, written a romantic letter? Read, read. Yes, I have written a romantic letter. Excellent. Now, Adan, question number six to Claudia. Claudia, have you ever phoned the planes very early in the morning? Claudia, your answer, if you open the microphone. Activate the microphone because we, we don't listen to you, Claudia. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Very well. Now, question number seven. Eliseo, read question number seven and ask to one of your classmates. Okay. Mm. Palacio, have you ever traveled to Europe? No, I haven't traveled to Europe. To Europe, Europe. Okay, now Adan, Adan Palacios, ask question number eight to Eliseo. Hey, Eliseo, how long have you worked for the company? I have worked since uh, seven years ago. How long have you worked? Okay. And now, Eliseo, ask question number nine to Claudia. Claudia. Ah, oh, no, yes, yes, number nine, okay. Okay, Claudia, how long have you lived in your neighborhood? The, the, 
¿Hace cuánto vives en tu, en tu colonia? Two years. For two years, you may say, I have lived in my, okay, I'm I going to write, okay, because remember here, you have two choices, right? You may say, mm, here you may say how long have you lived in your neighborhood you may say short answer for two years yes short answer or i have lived lived in my neighbor we Hello. This is crazy. I have lived with capital letter. I have we. I have lived in my na neighborhood for two years. Okay. You have here short answer and full answer, but also you can say, I have lived uh, in my neighborhood since, okay, two years ago, uh, since 2020, right? Because we are in 2022. Or you just, the short answer, since 2020, okay? And that's it. Yeah, you have two choices. And this is the latest video that we were watching, okay? Comments or questions about this? Por dos años, desde el 2020. He vivido en mi vecindario, en mi colonia, desde el 2020. He vivido en mi colonia por dos años. Ok, for, for, since, desde. Ok, and now we continue with the question, which is very interesting, guys. Okay. And I'm going to ask the last question for each of you, ok, that we have in here. Mm. Eliseo, how long have you studied English? I have studied, studied English since eight months. Since eight months ago, ago, or for eight, uh, for six months, okay, or okay. for eight months. But if you say uh, since since, remember for a specific period of time, since eight months ago, desde hace ya seis meses. Now, Claudia, how long have you studied English? I have studied English six months. For six months, I have studied English for six months. Adan, how long have you studied English? For, for, um, for, uh, Excuse me, would you repeat? Because there is an interference. Uh, for five months, okay? I have studied English for five months or since five months ago. And now here I'm going to ask you another question. 
get ready class. And you're going to think about one question, okay? With have you ever, I begin. Have you ever tried garlic pupusas? Okay, here we go. Have you ever tried garlic pupusas? Han probado las pupusas de ajo. Uh, this is for Eliseo. Have you ever tried garlic pupusas? I never, I've never tried, tried? Oh, really? Okay, and Claudia, have you ever tried garlic pupusas? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. You have to say yes, they are delicious, like in the conversation. Yeah, the same as the garlic uh, uh, on your bread. Yeah. Uh, Adan, have you ever tried garlic pupusas? No, never tried. <laughs> garlic pupusas, you should. Okay, now you tell me one question. I'm going to write it and we are going to answer. Eliseo, your question is, have you ever... It is about food or drink. Have you ever tried, okay? Have you ever tried? Uh -huh. Eliseo, complete the question. It is your question. To, to, to food or, or food or, Excuse me? To run alcohol. Have you to ever drink? tried? Yeah. Have yeah. you ever tried? Drinking alcohol. Have you ever tried um, alcohol? Al uh, alcohol in your drinks to soften in your drinks. Okay, so let's begin. Let's answer this question. Claudia, um, your answer. Have you ever tried alcohol in your drinks? Yes, no, I have. No. <laughs> and, and no, I have it in the, in the big no, smile. Okay. And the big Good. smile. Uh -huh. Adan? Yes, I have. Uh, I have some time. Yes, I have tried. I tried alcohol in my drinks sometimes. Sometimes I have tried alcohol in my drinks. Okay, and yes, me, I have. Yes, I have tried. Now, get ready with your question, Claudia and Adan, okay? Here, Claudia, tell me your question. Have you ever tried? It is about food or drink. Have you ever tried? ¿Alguna vez has probado? Have you ever tried? Come on, come on. Okay, Adán, do you have the question? Adán tiene la pregunta. Or Claudia, let's hear it. Have you ever tried um, tamales, como dicen? Tamales? Tamales. Ajá, but tamales. what kind of tamales? What kind of tamales? Yeah. ¿Qué tipo de tamales? Have you tried tamales um, de cerdo, de pig? Ah, pork. Pork, pork, pork tamales. Pork tamales. Tamales. Okay. Have you ever tried pork tamales? Eliseo, your answer? I yes. Never. I never tried, tried tamales. pork tamales. Okay. Claudia? Pork tamales, have you ever tried? Yes, I have. Okay, in my case, yes, I have. Okay, now, Claudia, your question. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried? Any food, any food. Okay, let's hurry, let's hurry. Have you ever tried? Cualquier comida.
I'm going to help you. Le voy a ayudar. Have you ever tried? Yes. Yes, Adan. Have you ever tried a pasta toy pupusa? Ah, potatoes. Potatoes pupusas. Potatoes pupusas. Have you ever tried? Eliseo, have you ever tried potatoes pupusas? No, I haven't. I haven't. Claudia? No, I haven't. In my case, I have never tried. And what about you, Adan? Have you ever tried? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, uh, excellent. Delicious. They are delicious. I can imagine. Okay, now the last one. Uh, Adan, have you ever tried pacayas? <laughs> Look at the face. Uh, have you ever yes, tried pakai? Yes. Trying uh, pakai. But about no, no. But I, you didn't like. I didn't like it. Okay, Claudia, have you ever tried pakayas? Yes, I have. Delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, you said no. Okay. And what about you, Eliseo? Have you ever tried pacayas? Yes, it's delicious. Okay. Okay. To some people, it is. It is okay. Thank you very much for being here. I know that it was a heavy rain in San Salvador and in many other places, but thank God we didn't have today. We didn't have problems with the connectivity. Only with the audio a little bit advanced. Okay. Class, I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we still have a class, okay? And we finish on okay. Thursday. So have a good night. Continue working in the platform if you didn't finish, okay? Have a good okay. night. Sleep well. Bye. And see you bye. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining. Have a good night, Miss Claudia. Eliseo, good night. Alan, good night. Bye-bye. Bye, Claudia. Bye, Alan. Bye, bye. Adan, are you frozen? Adan, are you frozen? Okay, thank you.